And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Timberborn Beta. All right. Uh, we have ourselves some decent amount of science. I had to... Uh, let's slow her down here. Um, as you can see over here, I had to build and uh, extend our area over here because we were we ran out of food and uh, I was very very close to collapsing the colony itself and that's not a good thing um, so yeah we've got got some uh, workers up here gathering some berries while I fill out some more farms finally they take that tree I've been waiting forever for that tree to get taken down alright this that tree right there is the, the end of the line for this. So let's get you. Uh, sure. Carrot field. We only have one jobless person. This. I had to build this to get rid of the berries and some of the other stuff over here. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to go and I want to unlock the next level of leisure, which is uh, it satisfies the spirituality of our beavers. We have beaver gods and, and stuff like that. So you can see 120 logs and uh, 40 planks, which we have, and 300 science. So let's go ahead and unlock that. See how big this thing... Holy moly, look at the size of this thing. Um... Uh, that I, that's earmark. That's power. Does, this thing doesn't need power, does it? Must be built on the ground. Well, of course. So let's then cut down all trees in this little grove right here. Uh, do we have enough space? I think we do. And let's see if we can't get these guys cutting stuff down. We have, I have some trees to cut down up here as well. And any time a tree grows to maturity, it automatically gets earmarked up here for deconstruction. So I'm going to uncheck that for now. Because uh, I, I want them to focus on these trees over here. And let's do... Let's do a house. This will use up some of my, some of my planks. What is that, 12 a piece? So that's 24 logs, that's good. That'll use up some of these logs out of here. It's weird having like more than I need. All right, these are slowly getting torn down. Um, I mean, at worst, they don't yield anything if they're too young. All right, now let's build ye old temple right in here lots of construction materials oh yeah look at that the, the woodland oh and we gotta zip through nighttime here everybody gets their social hour on Comfort. Watering. Good, good, good. Just keep feeding this sinkhole here of, of resources. And then we should. This right here. Spirituality. Working speed plus 30%. That will help a lot um, in, you know, products and mining and farming and all that kind of stuff. At least I hope. I don't know if growth speed changes, but... All right, you... This just about ready to go. So we'll get these carrots... 
then we'll get these carrots, and then we'll get these carrots. Uh, we have, what do we get? 65 carrots. That's pretty good. But they need, they eat, you know, more than one carrot, I think. There we go. Oh, let's slow her down. Let's slow her down. <laughs> Anybody surprised that they're worshipping a tree? Anybody? Alright, so their spirituality... Why do we have no... Spirituality affects none. Is it because... What? I thought for sure... That had an effect. Didn't it? Yeah, see, it's spirituality. Working speed plus 30%. That's weird. So fun is like the last thing. Like 700 science. Book satisfies knowledge. So we need another 400. So how do we get paper? Paper mill. There's, there's 250 science. So yeah, we're going to need more science. Um, we have no jobless guys right now. We have plenty of housing. Yeah, we have plenty of housing. I even have a house up here because it, they basically go by, um, nearby residences. That's how it allocates stuff and things. So we might want another science building. Like right there. And as soon as a beaver opens up, yeah, day 39, Tazingo died of old age. Beavers only last about a month. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, there are a couple little things that I could probably harvest over here. There you go, sir. Little jobs for you. I don't really know if the berry bushes grow back. I mean, instinct tells me they don't. These are the ones that are just not... Oh, maybe, maybe they do. Yeah, maybe they do. Berry seedling. So maybe if I don't necessarily chop them all down and leave some of them around they will eventually start growing back okay so how are we doing logs we need some more logs these are finally gone let's cut down that one <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's cut down these two. And this one back here. And this guy has started planting a bunch already, so that's good for us. And uh, food... These all are, uh, this is so close, so close to harvest. And I kind of want to cut down all of these. Let's see, can we put another potato field back here? We could fit one back here. Oh, that's a bad place for that, now that I look at it. But yeah, we could do that. Let's, uh, let's plan for that. Get all of these trees cut down. Like that. Then we can put another potato thing back there. And uh, the more potatoes we have, the, the longer this thing runs. The more this thing runs is good for us. So once these trees are done, then I'll re-enable 
the chopping of trees over here. What labor? All in post. Thing is huge. Ooh. There we go. Maybe they had to get it consistently, right? They had to visit it a couple times. Alright, let's uh, buzz through this evening. Now we should start seeing a lot of trees getting chopped down. You can see we've got quite a lot of berries. So yeah, if I want to leave these bushes here, maybe they'll grow back over eons. And I did put another, as you can see, I put another plank maker over here. So we're using a hundred of the horsepower uh, that this is making right now. Interesting. These these models change depending on what they're doing. Interesting. That's cool. Okay, so those are all done. Let's put another potato field back in here. Uh, like, right. Well, right here. And path right into there. And we happen to have two jobless beavers just in time to work the land and uh, start growing potatoes. And so how's that gonna be timed? 34 and 19. Um, and this guy, I don't really know. I have one potato in there. Shouldn't have any in here or here. No, let's, let's I don't want potatoes to be delivered. I only want them there because that's the closest well, that's pretty close. Now, I don't know if they, you know, grow food faster. Look at all the grilled potatoes we have. That's glorious. We're just about to get another harvest of carrots. Okay, so obviously our wood is hurting. Let's auto cut. Look at all those trees. Beautiful. So I like to see. Now, as far as science goes, this guy, no, we already, we, now we're producing nine points per cycle. Uh, let's look at uh, food and water. Let's look at water. Water pump, 70 points. Satisfies thirst, crafts for water. One worker. I'm gonna guess this has to be next to the water. Durr. Um, so sure, let's uh, build that. Logs and planks, no gears yet. Uh, I left this open here because I wanna put a gear maker back there. All the bees of beavers going around. Oh, he is cruising. Oh, he is cruising. I don't know what makes some of them run really fast and some not, but... All right, so that... I'll put materials, 152. So four water at a time. Which means I can satisfy quite a lot of thirst. I mean, I'm not sure. Wheat field. 65 wheat. 30 science. 
I'm kind of running out of room here. I uh, might be able to stick it down in here. Uh, maybe not. It's going to be iffy. I need to expand into another area. Can I build footbridge? I can build across. There's really no reason. There's not much shore side here. Um, I need I need some more science points. That's what I need. Um, I've already built houses up there, so build, build another science thing up there. I'd use a few. Glorious amount of trees that this is chopping down. So I kind of I want to do a path across and across. Across like that. Paths really help you expand the area that you can cover. Okay, so now let's look at woodworking gear workshop. Uh, 100 science. This uses a plank, so do I want, yeah, this is 120, so this would be 200 and That's 50 and 50. That's 100, so this will be 220 horsepower. This makes 100 and 290. So I would be able to put, if I did my cards right here. That shaft intersection there. To both of those, left and right, are connected. So I could put my carpenter Oh yeah, I'd be able to do one of these and one of these and that's the 290 right there. And I don't really, well, those are all one. How many uh, staff is uh, in a gear workshop? Workers one, okay. So I have enough workers to actually cover that. As long as nobody passes away. And they're going to start using planks to make myself some gears. Do I have gears in here? I do. Hoping I have enough food. Hmm, the money. 37, 55, 70. Okay. We're out of taters. Grilled potatoes down to 32. Can I scrape a few more of these? <clears throat> Just for funsies. Ooh, look at that. They're already done. That was quick. All right, so he's making some gears. And I don't know what the ratio is. One gear from one plank. Okay, so it's one to one. Good to know.
And they're super close. I wanted them super close to this. Um, as far as planks go, I could use a lot of planks in my little foot bridges up here. And these foot bridges are ready to go. All right, excellent. Um, what we need over here, because if I go harvest mature trees, can you, you do see that, that's good. I'm gonna probably need another one of these because I wanna put another forester back in this corner here. That's a three by three. So I could put another log pile <clears throat> right in here. It's still within walking distance. Loud. All right, I should be seeing gears. Yep, I got four gears already. These guys are heading off over to here. What are you doing? Yeah, let's uh why are you... Why were you emptying... That was weird. Because this wasn't checked, and they were just forcefully emptying... That. Which is weird. Um... Okay, so one thing we're gonna want... Is... Lumberjack flag somewhere in here. Well, I kind of want to clear the trees out first. There's there's my limit. But as I as I clear trees, I'll be able to move the path further and further in and that should help move that along. All right. They're just scurrying around everywhere. All right, well, I don't want to get deep into something else because my last episode ran really long. All right, yeah, we're we're able to we're able to satisfy the thirst of a lot more. <gasps> There's a sleeping mat. Oh no. We need some more housing. And we gotta start thinking about expanding over here as well. Um, and maybe another possible carrot farm over here. Really wanna keep keep going. Yeah, look at all the food. Wow, yeah, we're out of food. Look at that. There we go. Carrots just in time. There we go. Everybody's getting satisfied. That was close. And the taters are just about done here. <clears throat> Yeah, we're probably going to need a few more. Are you, uh, you are jobless. <clears throat> How about you go in and chop some stuff down? Okay, we're down to five food, four food, zero food. Hey, there's our first potatoes. Yeah. <clears throat> so we had this potato drain out, and now we're cooking some potatoes. And we get four grilled potatoes for every one potato. So, I mean, it's multiplying the 30 
that we get every six days times four. So we're getting 120 grilled potatoes for every harvest every six days. Um, and look at our points. Our points are going up so fast. It's glorious. Um, what really helped with the points is getting that spirituality and their work. They're, you know, able to do it super fast. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to need more carrots. This is 65 carrots every four days. Um, carrots. We're right in there like that. Yeah, I want to build that forester lodge somewhere in the middle here, and I gotta just work my way in. Okay, well, we're getting close here. The end of the episode. Yeah, last episode went way too long. Why are you moving logs? You need food, sir. There you go. All right, a couple more guys on another carrot field. So now that's 24, we're just harvesting that one. <clears throat> Pro might, no, uh, might harvest this one today or early tomorrow. So a couple of these are gonna be, this one and this one are gonna be tied in. All right, another potato. Good, he'll be able to rock us on some grilled potatoes again. I just want to make sure that we don't run out of food. I mean, I just added a couple houses, and that could be disastrous if we don't have another, you know, if we don't have more food for them. I don't know why they're taking their time chopping these trees down, but... I guess it is what it is. We, we're, we're starting to get a pretty... Oh, right, another more carrots. Excellent. Um, we're starting to get a really decent amount. Um, of food. What's up with all these hunger things? Look at the food just melt away crazy all right well that is gonna to have to do it for this episode and i thank you for watching and i will see you next time